Hey guys, what's up? It's your fave Black Ethot here. Today we're doing a thrift haul. I love thrift haul. This is the only physical activity I've been doing since quarantine and honestly I'm here for it. It's just feeding in to my shopping addiction at this point and I've stopped buying from all those like, you know, fast fashion brands. So I feel like I'm doing something good for this world as well. You know anyways this is all inspired by y2k again i'm obsessed with that um fashion right now as well as a few little mixes of alt kind of more styles and e-girl styles um but yeah like literally beside me i have holy fuck a basket <laughs> like this has all been curated over i think three months all for fall and winter time oh my god Anywho, let's just get right into it. So first off, I have these white flare jeans. I mean, are you like, they are perfect. They're low rise too, which I've been loving right now. I love to show a little bit of skin anytime I could get because I'm a whore. Um, it has a bunch of gold detailing on it. The brand is Rock and Republic. I don't know that brand, but it literally looks like it was never worn. Like this has not touched someone's body. I've got these ones recently from Tally's and they're 15 bucks. So I'll tell you the prices if I if the price tags is still on them. But yeah, no, they're literally perfect and they fit me like a glove. All my good fitting pants have been from the thrift store. Like, mm, they really know how to do it. All right, next. We have this little dress, which I am so obsessed with. Wait, where is it? I can't see the top. There it is. It's just like a turtleneck, midi length brown dress. And brown has been such a color that I've been seeing trending recently. I didn't buy this because it was trending. I bought it because it matched something else that I um, got. And it's super Y2K, but you'll see that after. It definitely reminds me of Jennifer Lopez, you know, Jenny from the black or whatever. Um, I got this one from Tally's and it's eight. 99 so about ten dollars and i think this yeah this is from american apparel y'all remember american apparel then they go out of business or something i don't know but i'm like literally obsessed with this dress and i need my little i need my moment in this and the jacket that i got with it next i got this oh yes okay this one i got like a month ago so i've actually worn it so the tag's not on it but it is this cute like it's velour so you know giving me juicy vibes um and it's just like in this like camel nude color which i'm obsessed with it looks just like juicy tell me that don't look just like juicy i'm obsessed with it it's so cute and i got this to match this is what I found originally and then I saw that I'm like yo they kind of go together so I'm gonna get it uh, it's these vintage juicy couture brown sweatpants in the velour it looks super cute together I've already worn them has that old tag on it I love them I love them I love them I love them that's that next up I got these pants which I'm planning to do something with them it's not gonna stay like this um, I got these inside the men's section, so they're quite big for me, but we gonna do something with this. I actually got my sewing machine fixed, and it should be here next Wednesday, or actually this coming Wednesday. These are these pants. They're boring. They're kind of like, eh, right now, but they're gonna be so cute, I promise you. Next up is this little number. This is like a black midi skirt. It's velvet. And actually, I planned, I bought this just because I like the fabric. So this is going to get cut up too, probably, uh, most likely. Even though it is really cute. But yeah, I would wear it just like this as well. This is just a cute, a really cute skirt, period. Um, but I have plans for this. But yeah, it's super cute. Next up, I got this top honestly for streaming because it makes my titties look good um it's just this like off the shoulder pink top and it like scrunches in the middle so yeah i wear this with my corset and like my titties just like they sit they sit y'all if you want your titties to sit buy a corset aliexpress you could get them off of them super cheap it'll be like 10 bucks and just constantly wear it with any top and your titties just be sitting Anywho, yeah, it's very simple. Looks like this, and uh, I think this one is from Garage. No tag again because I've worn it already. 
Uh, next up, which I was like, okay, Miss Thing, um, is this dress, and it was from Miss Guided. It has a tag. Excuse me. T'Challa, Mister. Anywho, it had the tags on it, so like someone like tried it on and basically just donated it, which is crazy to me. I wish I had that type of money. Anyways, um, it's really cute, man. Like this is giving like sugar baby vibes. Like I need to go out on a date with this. It's this nude color, first of all. Um, it has this nice deep V, and in the back, it's like backless. Like, can you? This this is giving me. This is giving me sugar, baby. I'm getting flew out. You're getting flewed out. All its pieces is paid for. All of that. Like, oh, and it's like long as fuck. And I got it to go with this other jacket, man. Like, I, I don't know where am I going. Literally, where am I going? In the middle of a pandemic, where am I going? Anyways, we'll move on to an accessory. So I got this cute little bag. I don't know if it's giving me like culture appropriation. Um, so I haven't worn this. It literally has a tag on it. It's been like a month since I've had it. It was $2.99 from Value Village, but it's like really cute, you know, like, I don't know. Next up are these velour sweatpants again, because I'm obsessed with the juicy stuff this is not juicy but it do have that butt pocket so again it makes your ass look big for no reason um i think this one is actually from like blue notes or something but i got it just to match my black juicy zip up and it does and it looks cute and i look cute good in it so those are that it's a little short for me though but again my legs are kind of long so it happens next up i got this Look at this cute little skirt like where am i going oh my god i have so much outfits and so much clothes that i want to wear but like literally no way can someone just like take me on a date but like platonically but like also let's not because we're in the middle of the pandemic anyways it's this red checker skirt it's super cute it doesn't actually fit me it's a little bit big for me so i'm gonna have to take it in like everything else um but yeah it's okay um yeah but yeah it just looks like that it has this little Ding them here and you you go like this and then you put it like that but I really want to wear this and I have like the perfect outfit let me show you the top that I thought in my head to go with it so I got this and I don't know what brand it is but I'm like I'm so here for it like isn't this just giving you like low-key like just an e-girl vibe it has extended sleeves so like my long arms fit and then some and it's like that what is that called bell sleeve i don't know but it looks super cute and it makes you look like a little vampire and i love it um it's from a random brand orange county choppers Ooh, motorcycle um yeah it has like all these like garment detailings on the hood and down there and i know this is just gonna make my titties look great you wear this with a push-up bra you just open it <sighs> god living anyways um yeah i got that because i think it would look cute with that and just by itself too next up oh yeah i forgot i got this actually look at this little little t-shirt dress thing i don't know i'm gonna wear it as a dress because again i'm a whore um it has, has this pink like background and then has like all these brown like newspaper thing on it honestly i don't know if it's kind of giving me grandmas but i'm kind of here for it i'm living uh this one is newer so this one was oh god why did you pay that much for it it was like nine bucks 8.49 my thrift store is up here i'm getting so expensive for no good reason i'm over it over it all right next up i just got these today someone canceled on me so i went thrifting and decided to shop away my feelings which are these look at these they're so cute though they're like this you know that windbreakery material has a zip down the side it's vintage nike um but they're really cute and they're baggy like just giving me like aliyah vibes you know like this is so early 2000s this is why i mean when i talk early 2000s and this one was 14.99 see that's expensive like i would pay that inside a fast fashion store i don't know why i'm paying for that at a value village anywho let's let's get into a big one which is this miss thing over here that i have to get dry cleaned and replace its buttons and do a little bit of work on but like hello miss thing it's definitely vintage 
um i think it's real fur too which i don't know how i feel about that at first i really wasn't gonna get it because it's real fur um but then i'm like i didn't personally contribute to that because i'm getting this second hand you know what i mean like it's not anyways um this was yeah no but don't buy real fur if it's like in store and like commercial and whatever if it's vintage and this has been killed like literally probably 60 years before your time i'm gonna give it a pass at least that's how i justified it it's like i'm i didn't directly cause this little weasel or whatever it is to get for, um killed but it is super cute so let's talk about it um this one was more expensive obviously it was 40 bucks 39.99 it literally has someone's her name was bob she's a barb oh. chat big bees in a trap it literally says barb whoever this girl was i know that she would stand nikki um we have lining a little bit of velvet lining in there barb g yo barb was a g anyways this coat is really cute i do have to do a lot to it though i'm not a big fan of the buttons i feel like the buttons are quite dated and inside the lining needs to be fixed a little bit like right here it's ripped uh, but that's like little things. I don't mind changing it. I'm definitely gonna get it dry cleaned as well It's gorgeous. It's big. It reaches me to my knees and can't you see that with like the new dress? I basically just showed like that's that's a look. That's a sugar daddy baby look. I Need to get flown out bro I'm over this. I'm overpaying for my own things. It's ghetto We're not doing it anymore. We're gonna flew out 2021 because 2020 is over like been new quarantine done we're inside the middle of a pandemic we're not going anywhere but 2021 2021 let me tell you we on our whole shit and that's on period that's on what period that's what i thought anywho let's get into this i'm getting going off on a tangent um next up i will show you got this guy i actually got this one today um it was 6.49 so about seven bucks and like tell me this is not like the cutest thing ever it's long it's mesh blue has this camisole feel to it like a little slip dress i can just see this like with a white turtleneck underneath some doc martens maybe some leg warmers that cute kind of that cute girl look i don't know i just thought it i saw it i thought it was cute and picked it up but yes next up i'll show a bag just to switch it up which is this little guy it's this white little guest bag um i wore this inside my last outfit video and tell me that's like not the cutest thing ever like i love the handle because it's super big you can put it over your shoulder really easily because some like mini bags it's kind of hard to like hold them um it has a good amount of space in there too like i could fit a lot i don't know i just really liked it and i love like different color bags i feel like i have a lot of black but like a little white to just mix it up yes next up i got this pink blazer uh, blazer this is ain't a blazer this pink vest which i'm thoroughly obsessed with vest has been really in recently and i wanted to try my hand out on the trend so you know i got a cop one obviously in pink because pink's been my color stayed my color hello um this is i got this in the men's section so again check every single section when you are thrifting if you want to find some good shit and this was $7.99, so about $8. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's cute. I think I could style it cute, it's simple, pink. I love it. That like school uniformish style has been really into. So yeah. Next thing that I got, a little, little boring, little basic, but I feel like it's a basic that you need it in your closet, which is just this like white mock neck shirt. I feel like the arms look so short though. I haven't tried this one on. Again, I got this one today as well. Um so yeah this was $3.99 we love that see this is the price that i expect when going to a thrift store not $14 i digress yes it's a cute little mock neck it's very cute i think it should look great in all my basic wear and i think i might crop it because again i'm a whore let's switch it up with um something different other than clothes which is shoes look at these shoes oh my god i when i saw them my mouth like dropped like i was like bitch bitch 
bitch this is prime like early 2000s like jlo 110 percent wore these the pointed toe <sighs> gag me and it's pink so like that's just a plus it's like a perfect heel size where it's not too too high so it's not uncomfortable to wear these were 9.99 that's a good price and look at it, it's leather real leather i love that i didn't know that um but yeah those are those i'm obsessed with these next up is another turtleneck but this one's a little bit more fun and interesting look at this pattern like are you kidding me obsessed i saw it and i was like there's some something's drawing me to you it's just such a cool inviting fun pattern it's like a paisley blue and i don't know it just looks interesting and fun uh this was 7.99 i don't like the 99 too because that's basically just a dollar put eight dollars don't do that to me just put eight dollars so that's that my pile is getting so big oh my god i am gonna stop after this i'm done i'm done buying clothes once I get my sewing machine and I start making my own shit, I'm done. We're done. Next up is this. So it's kind of a vest, kind of not. Um, but it's super cute. It's like this knitted brown kind of cardigan vest-ish thing. And what I like about it is like giving me very ho vibes because it's open. So my plans is just to wear this at the top. I don't know if it's supposed to be worn like... Hello. I don't know if it's supposed to be worn like that. It seems like T'Challa wants to be in this video. I don't know if you could see him, but yeah. It has these cute like little brown buttons. Um, that's just how it looks like. And this one was $5.49, which is an okay price. I don't mind doing that. Made in Canada too, we love. Another vest. <laughs> uh, this one's super cute. I mean, tell me that's not cute. Again, found in the men's section. Um, it's just this blue has this cool like little varsity detailing which I think goes in again with that like uniform ish trend and yeah I really like this color blue and I think it's like just so much fun I'm loving color pastels all that I love for color and pastels um, I like this one uh, this one was $4.99 and it's an extra large in men so that's gonna be fun I love that last item which i am thoroughly obsessed with this and i cannot wait to just be wearing this it's a little too warm which is really surprising because now it's um i think it's actually now our like warmest october which is very concerning because i really <laughs> i don't know like global warming like our time is ticking man y'all better do your recycling and shit and i'm not talking to the consumers i'm talking to the billion dollar corporations that are fucking up our ecosystem on a daily it's not our part it's theirs always remember that last one we have this guys oh my god living it's chocolate brown like like just look at it like you'll see it i don't even gotta explain it to you the fur trim the buttons the the pocket the color the fur collar I don't I don't think I, I don't gotta say nothing I don't got to say nothing and imagine this with the brown the brown turtleneck this with the brown it's over for you it's over for you bitches back talk it's quiet ain't no back talk so I need to stop okay anyways that so that includes my haul if you want to see how this will look on me definitely click the subscribe button and the notification button i will be doing a whole video on it next week with wearing these items with all the different fashion trends i've been seeing for the fall and winter time uh yeah definitely follow me on instagram if you enjoy cosplay or any type of fashion related content that you see here um and follow my tiktok because if i don't do a full video like this there's most likely a mini haul on my tiktok of things that i've been getting recently so with that being said if you made it this far in the video thank you like the video if you like it dislike the video if you dislike it. it's all feedback i'll see you guys next time and bye